Good morning, day 30. And I spent the night at a hostel last night uh, after hiking uh, 16 miles, I think it was. And today I'm gonna slack pack. Um, it's threatening to rain today and the hostel driver is willing to drive me to a place where I can hike south to get back here. And I think it's just gonna be a 14 mile day, so that'll be really nice. And one thing to note, yesterday I was having dinner here. Um, they have like an attached restaurant and I went to pay my bill and it was told that somebody had paid the bill for me as like a trail magic. So that was really nice. I had mac and cheese uh, and french fries. So thank you to the person that bought me my dinner. I've never had a meal bought for me. So thank you. All right. So I'm on the road, on the trail. It's supposed to rain today. That was the majority of the reason I decided to do the slack pack. This is my second time slack packing. Airplane. So I left the majority of my contents of my backpack back at the hostel I'm staying at. Uh, my tent, my sleeping bag, my clothing, most of my food. And I'm just bringing water and snacks and like a coat, my rain jacket, and my own backpack today. Um, but it probably only weighs like seven or eight pounds, so it feels great. And I'm, I got shuttled to a spot where I got back on the Appalachian Trail. And again, I'm heading south back to where I started at the hostel. So, like I said, this is only the second time I'm doing it. Um, but a lot of people do it, I guess. And I think it's a good way to get the miles in and not have to worry about the weather and setting up my tent and possibly the rain and all. So, hoping for a nice, quote unquote, easy day today. Pretty. This is nice and relaxing. Can you guys hear it when the trees move and one's leaning on the other, it makes that noise. Pretty spot. Okay, so I'm stopping at Mountaineer Falls Shelter for a morning snack. And my two friends, I guess, Cliff and Preacher Man, I ran into. Those are the two of the guys from the incident the night before. So we talked about that. Not the night before, two nights ago. Hiked for graffiti board. 
I'll sign that. I can, sounds like it's raining now lately. Here's the view. And I'm gonna have myself a little snack while I sit and relax. The rain's coming down a little bit harder, so I don't wanna leave. I'm all safe in this shelter by myself, which is so rare. It sounds cool. Look at this big one. Falling down, caught by another tree. Wow, you can still smell uh, where they cut. That was good. Today's views, very nice. And I talked to three of the four guys today that were in that shelter two nights ago where I said there was a big ruckus about the snoring. I'll fill you in later. Got the whole place to myself. Pretty cool when that happens. There's my trail with the white blaze on that tree. And then this nice, flowing river. Gentle raindrops. This is Jones Falls. It was a side trail for me to come here and my two friends said it was worth the side view. So here I am at Jones Falls. This just kind of popped up out of nowhere. Look how pretty. I feel like all these trees are just paving the way for me. Hey Jack, do you remember the cemetery that you and I walked by a couple months ago when I came to get you an app and we walked on the AT? I am at that part now. How cool is that? There's Jesus. Anyways, I thought about you. I'm glad you came with me that day. I love you. It's, it's too big to hug. I'm trying. Just too big to hug. I think I'm down to about a mile, mile and a half before I'm back to the hostel that I started. The sky's looking a little dark. So it'd be nice to finish up before anything comes down from the sky. It's a pretty field. Well, I had to put my raincoat on again. I got a quarter of a mile to go to go to the spot that I ended at yesterday. And then it's a half a mile to the hostel that I'm probably gonna walk on. Anyways, glad to have this day behind me. Have a great day.